Good morning guys, I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Welcome to part two of our WJ refresh video. See part one, we did a radiator install on my cousin's 2002 Jeep Grand Cherokee and we kind of had a trans leak. Used old trans lines from the old radiator on the new radiator and they were just really messed up. They were corroded and rusted on. Had a lot of trouble taking them off. So on this video, we're going to go out there, we're gonna bypass that whole uh, trans cooler that's in the radiator. We're gonna get ourselves a Hayden. I think there's a Hayden or Imperial that I saw at the auto parts store. We're gonna pick that up, we're gonna bring it out to my cousin, and we're gonna do a trans cooler video. So part two of this WJ series, trans cooler video. We're gonna head out to my cousin and uh, take it from there. See you when we get there. <laughs> we are back guys. We are back with uh, Project Alahama. <laughs> As you can see, we got the new rear bumper on and we have some some paint on these side skirts. It's our first coat of charcoal. What is it? Bumper trim paint? Yep. Bumper trim paint. Duplica. Duplica. And that's pretty cool. It is blending in nicely all the uh, the bumper panels. I think this was a driftwood color. And these uh, stock ones, or the ones that came with it, were the regular gray. So, um, yeah, they're all getting paint to match. We got, what are these, WK. We got WK wheels on because the tires were shot on the old tires. So this is coming out really good. And check out this thing. This is probably where you guys last saw it. Not really sure exactly where the camera battery died. But here's the problem now. We got all these little drips, trans fluid dripping from the trans lines. And here is the upper line. This came out pretty good, but you can see here how the line is a little twisted. Now this one isn't leaking, but when we did the bottom one, can't even see it. It, is, it was a lot more twisted than the upper one was. And I think that's where it is leaking from. Now I could have gotten new lines to start, but it was getting late. We hurried this on and I cranked that down really tight. And I have a fear that this might be botched. <laughs> so that's why I got the trans cooler. It's right over there. It's a Hayden standard advanced auto. And uh, we'll see if we can take a better look at that. I can't even see it. We'll get a better look at that in there. And if we could fix it, we'll try to patch it. If not, we will bypass it put that trans cooler in and we'll have no leaks hopefully but here it is so far got the oil change new wheels new radiator radiator <laughs> radiators radiate radiators are radical all right here we are we are under the front of the Jeep here is your lower radiator hose and here is that transmission line this is the line that is leaking uh, <laughs> We got a whole bunch of trans fluid. It's sprayed everywhere. So in the course of the hour ride home, um, <laughs> what a mess. I think there is some trans fluid left in the vehicle, but <laughs> I won't know for sure until we top her off. But this is the line I'm gonna bypass. So it's, yeah, it's shot. I'm just gonna bypass this out of the equation. This was so, Rusted on I had to torch it to get it off the old one and should have just got a new one But uh, now I know better. So we are just gonna hook up a new trans cooler and bypass the radiator trans cooler All right, so with this trans cooler you could either put it in line with the radiator or you can disconnect the radiator in option B and You could do it without it. So we're gonna go with option B I'm going with option B and also with this trans cooler, you could either mount it vertically or horizontally. We're gonna go horizontally so our trans lines can have the shortest distance to the original trans lines. So we're gonna set something up like this in this general area. I think I got the best way to do it. So I'm thinking of having the cooler right about here. And then I got some of these straps from Home Depot. We're just gonna make a couple brackets one going 
to this side, another going to this side, behind it, and we'll see if it works. These are like minor modifications. Imagine building a whole car. I can't imagine doing this, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look perfectly level? I mean, it's not level <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, that's just jokes. <laughs> I know the fans have to be level, Dan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Education I learned. Edu education is key. All right. All right. Oh, I think that'll do it. All right, guys, this looks like it's the winning ticket. We're going to get these brackets going right where the hood latch is, and they are fastened securely to the back. And the kit came with these foam pads. Going to put these foam pads right where these hex nuts go to give it a little buffer zone. Don't want these nuts impacting the AC condenser. All right, pre installed my barb on the trans line that came with the cooler kit and I'm gonna use my pliers to take off these quick connects quick clamps I don't know what you call them, but I could barely see them so I'm sorry if you can't either but at least we're in the same boat Got one. all right <laughs> now hopefully when I pull this out, we're going to get covered in trans fluid. <laughs> okay. if, if it doesn't pour all over us, then we'll know you ran out. And that would be bad for your car. Drip. And here comes drips. 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 All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. So she had some left in her. Great. All right, let's elevate this. Wait, hold on. All right, now we'll disconnect this one. What do you think, Matt? These pliers are older than us? I'm 100% sure. <laughs> Grandpa Tom's pliers. Those are, those are uh, Pop's pliers. Pop's pliers, baby. That was Grandpa Tom's knife. Nice. I love old tools. Generational tools here. <laughs> Right? That's the kind of tools I want. Quality stuff to pass down to the kids. My uh, my drill was my great uncle's. Wow. All right, the line's tapped off, but all the trans fluid that's in the radiator is just oozing out now. But what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna have to take that drip. <laughs> Oh, you know what? While we're down here, we'll cap the other side. Took the caps off the 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 cooler. We'll just plug them on here. This way, uh, your transmission lines don't give a nice home to a spider. Since we got copious amounts of trans fluid all over the cardboard on the driveway, I'm just gonna take a little bit, just lube. These barbs up here, so it could stick on our lines. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh, Hold up. <laughs> up. Alright, bottom one is in place, finally. <laughs> now we're going to do the top one. Clampy. <laughs> Got it in my hand. Secret clampy. Wow, super cool.
there we have it. Super cool. Super cool trans cooler. Looking real good. Custom installed. Very nice, very nice. All right, time to top her off. You mean fill it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It has to have stuff in it to be topped off. <laughs> if you're if you're filling an empty transmission, how how many will it take? About four. Hope so, because that's all we have. <laughs> All right, you gotta test your transmission levels while the engine is hot and in neutral. So while we're waiting for it to heat up, went ahead and got my half a quart of ATF, and I'm gonna mix it with some Lucas Stop Slip. This stuff is great for transmissions, especially if it's old with high mileage. Uh, it's really, really thick though, so it takes forever for it to drip down the dipstick tube. So I'm gonna add a lot of this into this, this way it will thin it up a little bit. And also I'm gonna leave it near the engine so it gets hot and thins it up too. Oh yeah, now she's registering. She is way low. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you wait a little while because this stuff is really viscous. You want to make sure all the trans fluid runs down that transmission tube because if you put this in too soon, you might get a false reading. So wait a little bit after you fill it up, let all the fluid go down into the transmission and then you can check it. So now I'm a little low, I'm gonna keep adding some more. Take that, right in the middle of the hot. She's hot, Matt. Look at that. Noise. Noise. There we go, guys. No drips. All right, guys, that is it for this WJ refresh. It's looking really good, really good. Came a long way, and uh, yeah, I like those wheels on this. WK wheels on the WJ. We got matching side skirts, matching front bumper, matching rear bumper now. Oop, tree. <laughs> That's all with that duple color bumper paint. That is the charcoal color. And we did all right, man. So WJ has got new oil, new trans fluid, new coolant, and uh, a couple new things inside. So one last look at that coming around the front. There we go. Most of all, no leaks so this is great guys thank you for watching my wj radiator swap transmission fix wj 
refresh video. If you guys want to see a really good video on how to change the radiator out of a WJ without taking the whole front end apart, go check out my buddy's Doug at DNE in the Garage. He did one to his WJ. He jimmy jammed that thing right out without taking off any of this front piece. No monkey business with that stuff. So, all right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next project. Peace. There we go, guys. Project Alahama. <laughs> the Alahama WJ. Uh, that's awesome.